Check. Rudder? Okay. Check. Name change? Name change? We never did that on Virgin. Company policy. Sort of do with passenger expectations. They like to think that pilots are all urban, sophisticated men who look like Piers Brosnan in ray bands. And your name doesn't fit the image, does it? A dinny Harbottle. It was good enough for me father. Precisely. All right then. So who am I? Uh, oh, Nigel Summersby. Oh, get stuffed. I'm not being called Nigel. I wouldn't be named Nigel. Why can't I be Nick Watkins? Because I want to be Nick Watkins and I'm the captain, right? So? So, I'm the boss. So, you do what I tell you, right? Or I'll bloody well chin you, right? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain, Nick Watkins, and co-pilot, Nigel Summersby, welcoming you aboard the Class Air flight from Florida to London Heathrow. French-Canadian air traffic control have at last extracted their digit, so we're left clear for takeoff. What's he like then, this new co-pilot? He's married, Trevor. He's from Gateshead. Well, I used to do long hauls with the fellow once in Gateshead. He was like Duran Duran, all rolled into one. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I asked for a first class ticket. Now they have put me way back there. In middle class or working? Was that like ambassador or executive or connoisseur class? No, no, madam, that's so passe. On class air see, where you sit depends on what class you are. You've got your working class, your middle class, and your upper class C. What kind of system is that? Oh, well, it's how the Brits like it, you know. They like to know who's who, otherwise they're getting a tiz. So say you're prime minister, he would sit in upper class, right? Ooh, no. He used to be working class, and now he's middle class. Oh, right. But say you're Jeeves and Wooster types, now they would be upper class, right? Right. Right. And the guy who cleans the streets, now he would sit in working class, right? Right. And back home, now my husband's an accountant. That makes me middle class, right? Oh, no. You're an American. Excuse me, Trevor. I've just found this gentleman. He took up residence in one of the lavatories during takeoff, and apparently he doesn't know where to sit because he's lost his boarding pass. Speak. Well, I know I had it when I come through the gate. Back of the bus, dear. <laughs> Vicky, because I heard you had a sweet too. Thanks very much. Oh. They'll surely handle this. They'll have a go eventually, haven't they? If you foul up, they could have third consequences for the safety of this aircraft. I can handle it. All right, then. Go on. But watch your dip right? Otherwise, I'm cutting you off. This is your co-pilot, Nigel Summersby. Sorry about the bumpy ride, it's just a little bit of turbulence. As soon as we reach our cruising altitude of 36,000 feet, we shall be serving lunch. Working class passengers will be having sausage and beans, followed by treacle pudding with custard. The middle class will be having chicken tikka salad with virtually fat-free mayonnaise, followed by strawberry fromage frais while the upper class will be having sausage and beans followed well? by a treacle pudding with custard. Those dulcet tones. <laughs> what now? I'm reading. Can we open these now, Mummy? Not till Christmas. Can I go to the loo? I told you to go before we got on the plane. Can we go and see the pilot? Tamsin, why would the pilot want to see the two nastiest children in Britain? Because other children did. Cause, Hugo. It's not cause, it's because. Cause is the lettuce or one of the grubbier Greek islands. It's very, very important. If you carry on talking like that, you'll end up chewing bubblegum, wearing trainers, and living somewhere like Macclesfield. 
If you want to shop at Argos and have a house that smells of vinegar, it's cause. And if you want shiny shoes and riding lessons, it's because. So it's your choice, darlings. What do you think, Tamsin? Cause or because? Because. Hugo? Because. Thank you. Trevor? This trivial middle class. They'll be the death of me, those middle classes. For Christ's sake, where do I sit? Not now, dear. Do we have a problem, Anne? This is a photograph of our house in Henley-on-Thames. And in the summer, we take a cottage near Southwold. My husband's with the Mat West, and he's treasurer of the local rugby football club. So, well, you've put us in upper lower middle. We think at the very least we should be a middle upper middle. What does your wife do? Trick question. Oh. She doesn't do anything, except the occasional fundraiser for UNICEF. Does she have a secret drinking problem and drive a Volvo? Yes, of course I do. I think they've got a case. Bump them, Cherry. Bump. Yeah. Isn't that Lord Melchester in working class? Yes. Oh, Trevor. Have we ever had a knob in the act before? I'm going to think very carefully before I answer that one. found yourself a pew. Yeah, and this is great. I feel like I really belong here, you know? It's brilliant, isn't it? I love it to death back here. Really? Now, I would have thought that you were a middle-class guy. Me? Oh, no. Middle class? Just because I'm senior transatlantic cabin steward, brackets, grade three, closed brackets, doesn't mean to say I'm middle class. Well, what are you then? Me? I'm not anything class, love. You see, I am what I am. I am my own special creation. So come take a look. Give me the hook or the ovation. Just to go with them. 